sleep apnea is caused by collapse of the uh, pharyngeal airway behind the tongue. Uh, very briefly, um, the airway behind the tongue is not a round tube, it's a flattened tube. And uh, in a healthy person without sleep apnea, the tube is wide enough so that when they go to sleep and all the muscles relax, the tube doesn't constrict because the muscles relax, but the tube, the the diameter of the tube, the volume of the tube decreases, but there's still enough room to move air up and down. But in a patient with sleep apnea, the tube is narrow enough now so that when the muscles relax, the tube totally collapses on itself. And until they wake up, they're not gonna move any air up and down. That is the simplistic but accurate definition of the cause of sleep apnea. There are a few variations. There's central sleep apnea having to do with the, with the brain and the brain stem, but vast majority, 95, 98% of patients with obstructive sleep apnea is actually obstruction of that flattened tube, which is located behind the tongue. And the, tr and the um, treatment for sleep apnea, the, the most effective treatment for sleep apnea is CPAP, basically um, a mask and a uh, engine that blows air uh, through the nostrils or the mouth uh, and actually inflates, inflates the lungs for the patient uh, while they're sleeping. And, um, and then the second line of defense is an oral device, which pulls the mandible forward, literally puts traction on the mandible and pulls it forward, increasing, uh, pulling the tongue forward and therefore increasing the volume or diameter of that flattened tube behind, behind the tongue. That is basically a description of the two diseases uh, and what is the primary cause. In the case of Temporal joint disorder. Uh, the cause is damage to the joint uh, one way or another, either through chronic bruxism, acute trauma, uh, or functional malocclusion.